we all know that electrons in any metal will move in a very random order now when we connect any wire across a battery a cell or a battery eliminator then electric field is generated and electron moves in the opposite direction of electric field remember as long as the electron is in random motion it will never constitute the current but once the electric field is there the electrons will gain a velocity in the opposite direction of electric field and this is called drift speed or drift velocity what is drift speed when are in the presence of electric field the electrons will move in the opposite direction of electric field this electron will gain a speed in the opposite direction of electric electric field is only known as drift speed the drift speed is of the order of 10 to the power of minus 5 to 10 to the power of minus 6 meter per second that means it is very small magnitude 10 to the power of minus 5 meter per second that means to if you conduct a race between electron and a snail the snail will win the race because its speed is at least some centimeters per second or some millimeters per second but here it is it takes 1 lakh seconds to reach 1 meter then the doubt exists that if it is such then how come here I have taken again our old setup that is a battery eliminator if I switch on with no lag the electric bulb glows now here this is the negative end of the battery eliminator the negative end of the battery eliminator will start moving the electron and it should reach and it should go through the bulb and then again it should come back to the positive but this wire length if you observe that it is around some 20 to 25 centimeters so but how the bulb glows instantaneously it is not that the electron that is moving from the negative should go through the filament which is made up of tungsten in the bulbs and then it should be generating the current or it should constitute the current the thing is when the battery is in off condition there is no electric field when the battery is in on condition the electric field is there and electric field moves with the speed of light 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second and this entire wire consists of electrons that it is not only that electron which is having at the negative of the battery so these electrons are there when the electric field is generated immediately the electrons one being pushed by the other and immediately it passes through the bulb that's why the bulb glows instantaneously so for glowing the bulb not that this electron from the negative terminal should go through the filament and then only the bulb glows so it is just because of the electric field drift speed is written as v d
v suffix d as we have discussed that the electron before applying the electric field will be in random order therefore initial velocity initial average velocity is considered to be zero now after connecting it to a an energy device like cell then it gets it means that electron gets a drift velocity let's consider that n electrons are passing through this area when i am supposing that electrons are moving in this direction i must take electric field in the opposite direction okay so i is equal to q by t so i can write the net charge as since q is equal to n e now if we write the number of electrons per unit volume n what is n the number of electrons per unit volume as n i can write it as capital n by volume okay now i can replace this capital n by small n into volume so therefore i can write i is equal to small n into volume volume of what volume of the conductor by t now this n volume can be written as area of cross section times length by time now length by time can be written as speed so n e area a length by time is speed and this is only known as drift speed i is equal to n e a v d r v d is equal to i by n e a so this is the equation which is relating the current and drift velocity here n is the number of electrons per unit volume e is the charge of the electron a is area of cross section and then vd is nothing but drift velocity